What's poppin' slime? Welcome to the channel. Welcome back if you're returning. I am your host, Golden Doe. Today, we will be watching 1989's cult classic, Stephen King's Pet Cemetery. Pet Cemetery was directed by Mary Lambert, who also directed Pet Cemetery 2. Stephen King is the writer of the uh, original novel. I heard it is extremely morose and it is very dark and dour. So I have personally not read it because, yeah, no, I'm not really, not really into that. But anyways. I have seen bits of this movie. This movie terrified me when I was young, so I actually never finished it. So I have no idea what the actual movie is about. I remember being so scared of this movie, and I don't even, I can't even tell you why. I don't know. Yeah, but anyways. So yeah, I'm excited to watch this movie. I did see the trailers for the remake, which kind of spoiled the whole thing. But I know this one's different, so I'm excited to watch it, and I'm excited to give a fresh take on the 1989 Stephen King's Pet Cemetery. But anyways, we're gonna watch this movie, we're gonna have a good time, we're gonna talk some mess, and we're gonna enjoy ourselves, so that's what we're gonna do. T title card? They're gonna slip it by like that. Dang. They get straight down to it. Fred Bloom, Herman Munster. Okay, the music is definitely creepy. That's not creepy at all. I have them in a circle like that. That's weird. Pet cemetery. That's not weird. Got the Griswold's little family station wagon. Finally here. Yeah. Yeah. It's <laughs> something like a beer commercial. This is cute. He's so cute. Where's his shoes and his clothes? That sounds like it's about to snap. Be careful. My lady, yeah, just gonna leave y'all, baby. Didn't that truck already go by? No, you don't, my friend. Not in that road. Okay. Not in that road. Them damn trucks go back and forth all day and most of the night. Yeah, that's a good story. A good walk. I'll take you up there sometime. You'll be happy he was over there. He saved your baby. Yeah, it's me. Well, come on up and have a beer. Come on up and have a beer. See, that's the kind of neighbors you want. He cool. Well, where does it lead? Pet cemetery. Uses up a lot of animals? My little oh, girl's my got goodness. a goodness. Winston Churchill. Doc, here's your bones. And your bones. Hi, Missy. I'll do these out. Bring them back next time, Mrs. Creed. Always thought it would be lucky to marry a doctor. Wish I had a doctor around with my stomach pain so bad. All set. Let's get on with it. There's the place. It says Pet Cemetery, honey. It's Miss Okay, well, let's just run up in the Pet Cemetery. I told you it's a bad road, Lois. Well, they have to learn about death somehow, now, don't they, Mrs. Creed? Why? Because people die. What you mean, why? She said that with an attitude. Why? People die. That's right, Ellie. They wasn't all killed by the road. Hard she got some trauma. That's where I buried my dog Spot when he died of old age, 1924. Spot, Ellie. 1924? Good lord, how old is this man? This ain't a scary place, Ellie. It's a place of rest. My cat. Oh, really sweet cat. I'm allergic to cats. Can't even mess with them. That is a nice house and a lot of land. I didn't even know they had a lake over there. Why you ain't focusing over there? I don't want church to get his nuts cut, Daddy. Who teaches her this? Missy Bear Church. She says it's an operation. Oh. Don't shilly shally, Lewis. Give the little girl a promise. Don't shilly shally. <laughs> shilly shally. I ain't never heard nobody say shilly shally. It's gonna get hit by a truck, right? It's gonna get smashed. Thank you, Missy, for introducing that colorful phrase into my daughter's vocabulary. You know, I can take a look at that for you. It'll pass. They always do. Excuse me, you got a doctor offering you some free stuff. I have a great first day at school, Doc. Oh, he's so cute! Hey, wanna see what happened? Got hit by a truck! What 
where did that come from? We got hit by a truck. Oh my goodness. These trucks really be hitting folks like that? They are showing that in your read. Look at that. I told Rachel not so much as a sprain today, my friend. Dang. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Why did he even say something about sturdier, stonier, silt, whatever? We've got places to go. Come on, Doc. Don't make me tell you twice. That looks so gross. And they're gonna keep showing it from different angles, just oozing and open. Like his noodle cap is spike. Like, my goodness. Because you tried to help me. I don't like this dream. Who said you were dreaming? The ground beyond is so Okay, so maybe that was a dream. Getting there. Uh, you. Lewis, it's not right. I don't like to think of you rattling around the house on Thanksgiving Day. You about to spend Thanksgiving by yourself? By choice? Mm, I guess y'all don't cook over there. What trouble? Well, there's a dead cat over here on the edge of my lawn. He didn't even get hit by a car. What's up with this music cue? Yep. That church, all right. He just snatched a frozen cat off the lawn. That is so gross. That is morbid as hell. I don't want to spoil her holiday. And Rachel's. Maybe there's a better way. The place we're going is on the other side of that. Don't look down. Oh, bro, that looks Stop. treacherous. But he did do it like a boss, so hey, maybe it is a pathway that's not so difficult. Just don't stop and... Oh. Hey. Judd, what's that? Just a loon, that's all. What's a loon? That sounded creepy. What is a loon? I really love this shot. It's like something's watching them. Damn! They going on a mission. This is super far. Hella treacherous. Almost there, Lewis. You keep saying that. <laughs> he mad. He got an attitude. You keep saying that. Who's that burial ground? Who's burial ground? Big Mac Indian. An Indian burial ground? I'm sitting over yonder down the smoke. <laughs> Judd has smoked a whole pack of cigs. Well, <laughs> he really took him all day. I don't know how deep he had to go, so hey, I'm not judging you, Doc. I know that's creepy as hell. I know that much. Not one word about what we done tonight. Yeah, what did y'all do? He being real ominous right now. Any woman who knows that at will tell you. The soil of a man's heart, Lewis, is stonier. Like the soil up there in the old... Grandma and Grandpa gave me all sorts of neat things. How's church, Daddy? Daddy doesn't miss me. And, and kiss him goodnight for me. Aww. Yuck. Yuck. Kiss your own cat. Hi, Daddy. I love you. He's so cute and precious. He just... He just blank. What is your deal? <laughs> <laughs> that was extra. But that's the cat, though. Wait a minute. Now the cat came back to life? Or was he not? He was frozen to the ground. You stay church. What happened to him? I tell myself that I buried him alive. When you moved him, he pulled out the frost, Lewis. Sounded like a... Well, I feel like I'm going crazy. Are you going to explain this? The ragman told me about the place. Okay, thank you very He's much. Make himself. Spot had got caught in Bob wire, infected. When he died, I thought I was going to die. Oh, so you lied to Ellie and him, because he said he died from old age. Uh, you still see the Bob wire marks on him. Spot came back all right. It was never quite the same dog that I knew. Has anyone ever buried a person up there? Christ on his throne, no. <laughs> Whoever would? Chew, you smell bad. I 
hate that smell. What does he smell like? Is he like a zombie cat? Oh, dang. Stomach, oh, she pinned it to herself. You got stomach pains that bad, boo? That's an awful way to go. And now... Hey, Stephen the King! What Stephen King Stephen give himself? Cameo? <laughs> man, that man been looking the same forever. How's your cat, Lois? Uh, yeah. Ellie's cat. No. Your cat. Your cat, now. What does that mean, you creepy... You being creepy, Judd? I like you, though. I like you, Judd. I don't think you a bad guy. You being creepy, though. My sister died in in the back bedroom. Ooh, I wee. Had to, that is, I had to ooh, feed her wee. sometimes. But I did it. We wanted her to die. What? <laughs> my parents were gone when she died. They'll just choke Oh, my you. goodness. This is and horrifying. Oh and they'll say gosh. you wanted her to be dead. This is traumatizing. Oh, my goodness. That's so sad. And they thought I was crying. But, you know, it's something. Oh my god. Maybe. Don't. I was laughing. What? What kind of. That's. Ooh, wee. That's awful. What kind of traumatizing stuff is that? If I ever needed another reason not to like your mother and father, I have one now. Right? Oh my goodness. That's so sad. That's real torture. <laughs> He here jamming out. Oh, he over here doing too much. They be flying down this little highway. You're flying it. It's not even a highway, is it? Got it. Street. Got away from him, that numb shit. <laughs> this little girl has got a filthy mouth. Who you talk about? Who taught you all them curses words? Curses words. Who taught you all them curse words? Uh, all right, just a minute. What are you doing? Turn around. Don't let him go on the road, man. What are you doing? Why'd you just turn around just to look at them? What the hell? Where the heck? Where did that come from? Oh my god, that is so sad. You freaking idiot. Why did you turn around just to... Like you in a damn commercial. What? Are you kidding me? I'm shocked. I'm shook. Ellie, what you got there? Hmm? What you got there? Let me see. Well, he is numb. Louis, take care of your little girl. She needs you. This man is empty. Oh my goodness. I couldn't even imagine. Look at his face. He's broken. You know something like this would happen. You shut the hell up. I'm sorry, bro. You can't talk. You, you, you. What you did was way worse. What? That's his son, and you acting like that at his funeral? Oh my god. Oh my god. It's your son's funeral. Get a hold of yourself, please. What kind of crap? Who does that at a funeral? I was not expecting that. I, I, I don't know. God could take it back if he wanted to. Couldn't he? Oh no. We plan to see. Can I have faith in that? You're thinking thoughts best not thought of, Lois. For all I know, I may even be responsible for the death of your son. What? Please explain. Don't deny the thought hadn't crossed your mind, Lois. Wait, what? Is that what this one? Towards the end of the Second World War. How old is this man? Timmy Baderman was so grief struck. He buried his son up there before he ever had a chance. Get the bottom of the truth. Sometimes that is better. Oh, he's eating his little leg. Whatever lives in the ground. Is he a zombie? Oh, oh, oh. That looks so gross. That looks like beef jerky on his face. Then we got the my God with those Baderman place. Take care of it. Take care of it. Damn. Bring down the cats. Wait a minute, fellas. Wait a minute. He's a monster, Bill. The Indians never. If y'all gonna turn into zombies. zombie. Stop using that burial ground. The ground went sour. Oh, sour. Oh, yeah. The place is evil. Evil? Then why the hell did you take him up there in the first place? I'm upset. 
place where the maypage die. Because I introduced you to the power. Oh. Digging up this freshly uh, plotted grave. If it doesn't work, I'll just put him back to school. Oh my gosh, that's even worse. Yeah, that's even worse. Imagine that. Having to kill him. Jed over here eating spam and peanut butter. Don't bother, Jed. I'm coming home. Rachel, no. Rachel. You don't want to do that. I have to do it, Jed. Goodbye. <coughs> What's the rush? What's the rush? Look at the lengths you're going right now, bro. Yo, <laughs> I got away. <laughs> Bruh, you're insane right now. Are you kidding me? Still flying through. Oh my goodness, this is disturbing. Oh my goodness, this is. Oh my gosh. How is he even. I feel like he wouldn't even be all the way there. Oh my gosh, this is disturbing. This is giving me the chills. This is creepy. I think she's dreaming, but still. What? Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh. This is the longest journey and he's determined. Oh, this give me the chills. This made me I'm so uncomfortable right now. It's not even funny. Bad Juju, what's going on? He got there, he got he got out so fast! Is he about to kill him? Why did he go over there to the new house? He still sounds like a toddler. And he's laughing. Oh my gosh. You gotta defend yourself against a little baby zombie that's talking. You don't want him said they come back not right. It's the worst part. You're gonna have to re-kill this baby. God dang, that's trifling. That's so, that's so disturbing. Oh goodness, he went deep in the eye. Oh, good God, that hurt. Woo, that hurt. Was... Oh, no. He's a zombie. Woo. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Come on, man. This lady didn't do nothing. What? You think that's Judd making a noise? How about that or something? Come on. Never get out of bed again. Never get out of bed again. How is she seeing this? This is so how creepy. Oh no, it's so sad. Dang! Dang! That was a whoppa. T o. You idiot, you got two people killed. Aww, you brought out his toys. Oh, that's so sad. Right now. Alright, Daddy. Will you come over and play with me? We play, Daddy. We had an awful good time. Oh my goodness. Dang, this cat is vicious. This poor dude. He ain't got so much kind of damn trauma. He just, I don't know what kind of psychological damage this is, but he is gone. Well, at least you can kill him easily. But dang, to kill your baby? What the hell? Alright, Gage. I mean, what do you do with the bodies? Judge! Dang, that's a, woo, that's a dope pop. Oh my god, he eat him? Come here. Oh, that's so sad. Why does he sound like a real baby again? Oh my god, this is so sad. No fear. No fear. Damn, you had to kill your baby, bro, because you decided to...
That's so sad. That's the saddest crap. We're gonna burn up his wall. I can't believe that he. I. <laughs> Bruh. If you buried a baby up there, what makes you think she not gonna come back evil too? She died. She just died a little while ago. That's your reasoning. You. He's trying to. That logic, he's a psycho. Cause he's he's over. It's whatever he it's remnants of a person he had is gone. It will be alright, Rachel. This is guilt now. Guilt and insanity. Damn. Didn't the fire department even come where y'all live? So these trucks can whiz by all day, but the fire department can't show up. Oh my he really did not learn that a lesson. Oh wow, she came back real fast. Ugh. Dang, she got she got jacked up. Her body looked through. Ugh. Her eyes leaking. Oh, come on, bruh. So, that was Pet Cemetery, 1989. That was incredibly disturbing, and it was so dark. Like, I, I don't have kids, so personally, I cannot say how and what, what, whatever his situation was. All I can say is, like, I know he was in real grief, and he had the opportunity to do something, but... You were warned that it was, they were, I mean, even the cat came back a little off, you know what I'm saying? So why would you bury a baby up there? I mean, that's just rough. It's just awful. And that little girl with her little uh, futuristic, little that's a raven vision is like, okay. But nobody was trying to listen to her. Like, come on, Judd. Why'd you even take him up there? And now you gone. Got ate up by the little, little zombie baby. And... I really just don't. He lost me at the end when he buried his wife. That was just nasty. That was gross. I don't get it. You lost me there. I was I was trying to defend you. Okay, I was trying to be an understanding, but mm, that's a little bit far. But anyways, this was requested by one of my viewers. This was a great choice. It was a slow burn, but when it started and it turned, it turned. That poor little baby. He got hit by a truck, and I was not expecting that. Like, he wasn't even really that important in the movie, and they just, bow, just took him out like that. And catalyst for all the damned hell that just came up on this man, man. Woo! This movie was good. This is going to stick with me. It was incredibly disturbing, and I just, woo! I was, I was not expecting that, but Stephen King, so then again, I should have been expecting that. But, however... Thank you for watching this movie with me. Thank you for tuning in. If you like the video, give the video a like. You know how I do. It's always a pleasure.